Hello Year 9, it's Mr. Frith. I thought it would be a good idea to give you just a little bit of guidance on how to use this simulation as this is a slightly new way of doing practicals for us. So you can click intro to start with. Here is our laser. You can press the red button to turn it on. You see there's two beams. So this is the beam to start with and it splits into two. So this one here, the slightly fainter one, is the one we're going to use for our experiment today. This one is the reflected beam. So when light strikes a surface, then it will reflect off of that. There's another one here, which we don't actually need today, but we'll look at later, which is the refracted beam. So I know reflection and refraction are quite similar words, but as far as it goes, we're only using the reflected one today. So this dotted line here in the middle is called the normal. It's called the normal because it's at a normal to the surface, uh, which is a fancy way of saying it's at a right angle. And you can actually confirm this as well by grabbing this very large protractor and just aligning that there perfectly. You see that's 90 degrees there with the surface. Now while we have this protractor here, what we want to actually check is the angle that's made between what we call the incident ray here and the normal and how that compares to the reflected ray and the normal, so here. So let's say I set this to 60 degrees there we go. So do you see how this angle is the same as this angle, which is also 60 degrees? So this is the law of reflection. What it should be is the same for each. But again, confirm this yourself. Try a few different angles. And write this in your notes in the form of a practical report. I know this is going to be a slightly interesting way of doing this um, and because this is a simulation the results are going to be a slightly unrealistically perfect in the realm of physics so you notice we have exactly the same angles whereas if we were doing this in a lab what we would see is the angles were off by a few degrees maybe two or three so have a bit of a think about what might happen in a lab to make these results not quite as perfect as these results we're getting and otherwise write off the practical report normally. So aim, method, hypothesis, results, conclusion, that kind of thing in the review questions and submit that in the link. If you can't find the link, let me know. It is attached to the work for the week.